short a little bit of sleep and now I'm back up and I am making a three-hour trek back to my hometown for um, a celebration of sorts um, my sobriety birthday <clears throat> excuse me my sobriety birthday is Wednesday um, which will put me at 14 years um, at least I think it's 14 years I don't really keep track of the number um, I really have kind of got past that oh I've got a year oh I've got two years oh I've got three years I treat every day pretty much as a brand new day and um, I treat every day like it's the first day um, so you know I mean because every day is literally just another day um, but anyway, my phone alerted me that my birthday is coming up, um, and I actually had tickets for another concert, um, which is pretty standard for me. It's about the same time every year. Um, at a, uh, in a theme park that's right up the road from where um, I used to live. And um, there was a group there that um, comes through every year. This will be their 13th year coming in. Um, and I am really excited to see them, even though I have seen them six times. Doesn't matter, they're an amazing group. They put on, a, uh, they put on an awe-inspiring show. Um, so I'm going to uh, pick up my cousin um, and we're gonna make the trek because she's going to the concert with me and I am really excited because this will be the first time in a while that I've been able to actually hang out with her um, so yeah um, funny little story I stopped at Sonic which is where I was leaving when I started this video um, to grab a soda because that is that is my drug of choice these days is diet vanilla coke um, the lady brought out my drink to me and I was like oh I said thank you for being my drug dealer today and I started laughing and she handed, she said oh no she said I could never she said I've been I've been sober for years and I said oh I said congratulations and I had told her that my sobriety birthday is Wednesday and told her how long that I've got in time and she said you know I have two semesters away from um, having my AA she says I'm in the process of becoming a drug and alcohol counselor and I gave her a high five and I told her I said all through the God and the power of the program right she said yes ma'am we do change she said congratulations on your birthday I said well congratulations on four years I said it's amazing the things that we do when we actually take the time to take care of ourselves and love ourselves and she said yes ma'am absolutely um, she told me that you know she's gotten her kids back um, she's got her life straight she's you know walking the, that that narrow road and that you know she her, her life even though at the time at right now she's working a minimum wage job her life is better than she could have ever imagined it to be in relation to how it was when she was using so you know if I am not proof of all the things that you can do by reaching your sobriety, then let that lady be an example. And if I had thought about it, I probably would have recorded it, but, you know, I don't really like to put people in that position. Um, people really kind of look down on alcoholics and drug addicts, but we're a very industrious people. We are willing to do things and find ways to get the things that we want when we're using. We're very charismatic. We're very engaging type, type of people. So, um, you know, the fact that we're, that abil those abilities are amplified on our part when we're sober, um, you know, using that power to the good, as it were, that, you know, it makes it really easy to understand why we're able to accomplish so much once we get our, once we get right with our, the, the God of our understanding. So, I'm going to quit running my gob. I'm going to 
get focused on this trip. I got a, about a 45 minute ride to grab my cousin and then from there it is another two and a half hours to get back to my hometown. So stick around. Hey Jessica, where, where are we at? <laughs> Video. Feel it. Feel it. Start. How are we? Good. We're wet. Yes, very wet. <laughs> very wet. <laughs> That's okay. But but that's okay. Okay. We're going to drive and we're going to have a good time. <laughs> Johnston, Georgia. It's like our 15th year in a row. You hear that thunder? It's usually 100 million degrees. Today we got a monsoon. It's the first time I've ever carried my boots to save. We got tons and tons of friends here tonight. How many people have never, never seen Skillet play before? Listen, all you first timers, I hope you know I love you. Thank you so much for coming and rocking out with us tonight in the rain. I love seeing brand new people. I'm telling you what, I'm not even joking. This world would be a better place if every single person forced Skillet upon their kids. I'm talking, I'm serious. You come to a Skillet show and seriously, it's like age four to 94 up in here. Yeah, I love, love playing Wild Adventures. One of my favorite, you know I say it every year, one of my favorite shows. I meet people every single concert who tell me their stories. I love hearing their stories. They're incredible. They're, uh, they're humbling. They're almost sometimes too, Amazing to believe how our music has helped them. And I love hearing your stories. Thank you so much for telling them to me face to face, through social media, whatever means you get them to me. I appreciate it. But the point I want to say is this. I have a special place in my heart for you. Skillet wants you to know tonight. You see, right before we came on stage, I was getting ready. The news was on. I wasn't paying much attention. But I saw something come on. I don't know how recent this is. You might know about it already. But it said this. It says that... The Biden administration has now said that loneliness is a public health emergency. We have a generation of hurting people in this country. They are growing up in a time of absolute chaos. They're growing up a time when people hate each other so much we can't even go to a picnic together without people getting in a fight. We have nothing in common anymore is what it seems like. Come to a skillet show in Valdosta and found out that people actually get along still. And that's why I love to be here because music brings people together no matter where you come from, no matter who you vote for, no matter what you believe, no matter the color of your skin, how much money you got, or where you live, music brings people together and it makes people feel better, and that's what I love. So, I've made it back from my concert. I have changed into some jams, and now I'm just ready to fart around the house and just relax. So, um, another part of um, my non-belly button birthday, um, which, you know, I'm going to end up paying for later, but that's fine. 
Um, we stopped on the way back at one of the local gas stations in town. It's a very, very nice place um, where they have cakes. There's a lady in my hometown. Her name is Miss Leslie, and she makes 10 layer cakes. Um, they, the station itself, the business itself, they actually take these cakes and they portion them out and they sell them in individual slices. So, happy birthday to me. Happy palpitations to me. Um, the way I figure it, I haven't had sugar in almost a year. Um, I don't regularly do it simply because, like I said, it gives me palpitations and it makes me feel kind of yuck after, but, um, you know, what the hell. The other thing too, um, I know I told you guys that I am doing keto and I am still doing keto. This is officially a cheat day for me and this will be the only cheat day that I have had since I started doing intermittent fasting and um, I've made a lot of progress and... I am not going to derail by any stretch of the imagination. I don't want anybody to worry. Um, but I am a firm believer that, you know, you should celebrate your victories, no matter, no matter what they may be. Um, you should actually have whatever it is that you want to have when you actually have made a, you have a, reached a milestone for you. Um, I don't really keep count of how many years sober that I am simply because I view it as any other day, like any other day. I mean, you can lose decades of time sober with a combination of the right set of circumstances in the right moment. And I don't take it for granted. So I don't want to, I, I refuse to rest my laurels on the fact that I have so much time accumulated. But I am willing to acknowledge, and that is part of why I do what I do in relation to my birthday celebration, um, that I have made it another year, and yay me, you know? So, I got red velvet with cream cheese icing. Mmm. Holy, 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 holy. That is ridiculously good. So, I'm only going to end up eating half of this. Because by the time I get halfway through, that first bite is going to start start the palpitations off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. <laughs> that I am able to tolerate. And um, then I'm going to uh, edit. And then I'm going to sit around and watch bad 80s movies and reminisce over <laughs> over the last year and um, over life and how simpler things have been, you know, before all these drastic changes in my life that have taken place. Um, the concert was exactly what I expected and what I needed all at the same time. Um skillet they do an amazing job every single time i see them they perform they are not just performing they are not doing what they do simply for the money what we see is worship and action that is rewarded through the grace of a higher power you know through influence through money through um notoriety you know and Big up to them for that. I mean, they're what they're doing is actually putting good out into the world, and you can't really, um, you can't really knock that. Not in my opinion. The world, the way that it is, you know, we see less and less good on the regular basis, and you know, I've got to say, I needed that. And I'm glad that I went. And I'm incredibly grateful that my cousin was willing to go with me because I don't get to see her enough. Um, but I would be making an effort to. Jessica's such a good-natured person. And, you know, she's, 
she's been through a lot too and we we connect in ways that I think some of our family members don't really understand um so yeah it's been a good day <laughs> thank you guys for checking in with me I appreciate you sitting through all this I hope um, the rest of your weekend goes well and hopefully I will catch up with you guys sometime this week all right have a good one bye Boom, <laughs> boom,